What's up guys? Welcome to this video and for today, we are gonna be talking about the, the news man. The news about the Farlight 84 upcoming changes and upcoming update this 25th of January. Yes, and uh, the reason why I want to make a video like this or to react to this is because I feel like I'm, per you know, personally I feel like I'm responsible uh, for a lot of players who actually saw my video introducing Farlight 84, how to install Farlight 84 and things like that. And uh, I feel like, you know, uh, why not? Like, why not? I Why don't I react to, to whatever their decision is and changes to their game, which is actually huge, right? It's actually very huge because there's a lot of changes and I want to give a big big shout out to uh to zach wilder um he's a big content creator for farlight 84 and all of my um you know all of my references will mostly be from his video from his uh updates on his youtube channel so make sure to check him out guys so yeah i'm also gonna be speaking in english for this video guys just because i want this to to reach to a wider audience and uh, for the Filipino viewers or para sa Tagalog dyan, I hope you, you still watch because I want to make sure na, na lahat ay nakakaintindi, okay? So yeah, enough about that guys. Again, I just want to make sure everybody understands. So yeah, there has been a lot of um, negative reactions towards this new update that's coming to the game. And honestly, I cannot blame the whole community for feeling that way because I did see the the updates and in Zach's video and um, it really sucks, man. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you, there's a lot of changes, a lot of like very, very big changes to the game that I can't even say it's Farlight 84 anymore. I mean, of course, it's Farlight 84, right? It's still the same game, but it doesn't feel that way, to be honest. It's, it's, it's very different. But before we even tackle the update, guys, let's talk about what is Farlight 84 and what made farlight 84 the game that it is so basically if you're gonna ask me farlight 84 is a fast-paced battle royale shooting games that has vehicles that has jetpacks that is so fast-paced you can you can outgun or outplay your enemies using the jetpack and using the different type of guns and even using the vehicles uh in the game to to make some plays right that's basically it so here's the big question guys, is the coming update gonna be affecting, is it gonna have a big impact on the whole idea of what Farlight 84 is? The game being fast paced, the game having the, the vehicles, the game having the jetpacks, and how you can outplay, uh, outplay the enemy. And the answer is yes, it does. For those who don't know, the very big thing that's gonna happen on the next update is about the jetpack. The, the jetpack is gonna be removed on most heroes and that is why there has been some or a lot of negative comments and reactions coming from the community because it's all about the jetpack man. The jetpack is what made this game unique. The jetpack is what is what made Farlight 84 Farlight 84 right and um, removing it it was it's actually a very bold move it's it's crazy that they're removing this um element in the game and may, retaining it of course with some heroes but again it's a it's a very big bold move for them to actually remove something from their game which made their game unique like imagine if you're gonna make a bread right if you're gonna make a piece of bread and then you take the dough out of the bread that's one ingredient, main ingredient out of that bread. It's like that. It's like jetpack is one of the main ingredient of this game. And then they just removed it. <laughs> they just... <laughs> they just... Man, that's crazy. They, they Who would have thought that they actually would do such a thing for Farlight 84? Right? It's... It's crazy. I really don't have any words for, for how much I want to express myself in them making this move because honestly upon looking at zach uh zach's video i i was shocked you know i was i was surprised that uh, the watchman gameplay didn't have any jetpack at all on the screen 
And the Watchman skills, by the way, are it's dope. I, I saw the Watchman skills. I think the Watchman skills is great. I think that what they're trying to do with, with the gunplay and the skills or the, the changes of the skills is good. It's great. But I think the jetpack move is really the worst, man. It's the worst change ever. And why is it the worst? You want to ask yourself, why is it the worst? How is it going to affect the game? I personally think that this will affect the game like 90% of what the game is because people are very used to using the jetpack for the past couple of months that they've been playing even for the OG players who have been playing this game for years now. When your muscle memory upon pressing buttons on your screen for mobile players and for PC players as well on your keyboards, I think it's already built in you that you have a jetpack for this game and having having that remove is is awkward right it, and the gameplay as well the way you outplay your opponents is gonna it's gonna change a hundred percent yeah the way you approach the enemy the way you can outplay the enemy um using your skills with no jetpack and you know I, I think what they're trying to focus here in more is more of gunplay i don't know this is my opinion guys but i think what they're trying to do is to to make Farlight 84 more welcoming, if that's the right word, for other players who are not able to uh, cope up with how fast the jetpack was. Because honestly, the jetpack gameplay was indeed very fast. There are a lot of people, I talked to a lot of people as well in my, in my live streams before that they don't like how the game is really fast and how... How the game is very difficult to to learn because of the jetpack but i think honestly i don't think it's all about the jetpack i think it's all about the matchmaking of the game and how the skill gap between players are not really matched evenly among the the ranking of the game because because i think there are players who can master the jetpack and are like pro players or good players excellent players who are really good with it and also, there are players who play this game casually. In order for you to balance that, you need to make sure that your matchmaking is balanced throughout your players. In which, for example, if a bronze player is not that good in using the jetpack, then they should be matched with another player who is not got that good with the jetpack. I think the main solution was the matchmaking, to be honest. I think what they should have done is they, they retained the jetpack and fixed their matchmaking. Because honestly, if you compare this game to like Valorant, for example. In Valorant, you can only rank up or rather matched with players who is one rank lower than you or and one rank higher than you. For example, if you're a gold player in Valorant, you can uh, match with a silver player and uh, a platinum player. And that, I think that's how it should be. Wherein if you're a gold player, you should only be matched with like one rank higher than you and one rank lower than you. And uh, comment below if you agree, guys. Because if they do that, I think the balancing of the game like throughout all the players will be, you know, will be good. It, it, it will be balanced, right? People who are complaining about the, the jetpack mechanic will be up against people who are not good with the jetpack mechanics, right? Like what I said. So I don't know if you agree with this or not, guys. But my whole point is going back to the jetpack, that them removing the jetpack and to make the game not difficult, the learning curve of the game not to be very difficult. I think that they should not have removed the jetpack, but they should have focused on the matchmaking, which what I said was about the ranking system in which you are balanced um, based on your skill level to what your rank really is. So I do hope you comment about that, guys. Um, I wanna I wanna see some reactions, some comments about what I just said about the ranking system and the matchmaking system of the game and about them removing the jetpack. Because again, the, the jetpack should not be removed from all characters. It should be retained because that is what Farlight 84 is. It's one of the things that made Farlight 84, okay? And I think we can all agree that the jetpack really made this game. It's it's one unique thing that is the what made it different, right? From other games, from other Battle Royale games out there. Um, and uh, removing the jetpack from Farlight 84 doesn't really make it Farlight 84 anymore. Now the question is, is this gonna be the end for Farlight 84? Is this gonna uh, destroy or rather kill the game? Is this gonna be the end for the game? I I feel like it's 
I'm gonna say it's 50-50 because right now, all the negative reactions coming from the community is, is valid. You are entitled to feel that way because you are the one playing and you are like the, the recipient or like the customer for this game. You are the player and you, you are 100% right for feeling that way uh, towards the removed, uh, removal of the jetpack. And I say it's 50-50 because we all know Farlight84 did mention that they are not 100% are sure that they will be implementing all of these changes to the game. But they also are constantly listening to their community. And that's that I think is the, uh, the best thing about Farlight84 because they do. If you ask me for the past you know, months on how they handle the game and how they... Uh, they treat the community. I think that this is one of those publishers that they actually listen to the community. That they actually uh, have these Discord calls. They they listen to their content creators. They they look at videos of their content creators and stuff like that. They have like lazy cast talking about you know things about the community, something like that. So yeah, uh, it's 50-50 for me, guys. I don't think. I don't think the game is gonna die right away because I know Farlet84 will listen. And yes, I think that game will die if they continue with this update. But not really to the point that the game will lose all their players. I think there are still players that are gonna be playing this game. But definitely, the player base of this game is gonna be... It's gonna go down. It's gonna go down because a lot of players will be very, very disappointed if they continue with this. And uh, comment down below if you're one of those one of those players, guys. I think, I think that some of you, like maybe 80% of the, the the people that's gonna watch this video, is is gonna be agreeing with me and saying that the jetpack really is what Farlight 84 is about. <laughs> It's why it what makes it unique. I don't know what the uh, what Farlight eighty four is going uh, is going for in this update, and I don't know what their plans are moving forward. But again, this is how I feel about the update, guys. And I want you guys to to also comment and tell me how you feel about this upcoming update. Are you gonna quit Farlight or not? Well, we're gonna find out once the update is up on the twenty fifth of January. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed this discussion, guys, and my take on this update. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Don't forget to drop a like if you did enjoy. And comment below what are your reactions about this update. And uh, see you on the next video. Enjoy your games, gamers.